Dusty and I'm Kelly and welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new uh, today we got some cool stuff going on for you we're gonna be making some vision boards so guys um, it's very important to have your mind set up for a new year um, for 2021 we created our vision board last year on um, the same time in December I always try to set it up about a couple of weeks before the year ends to make sure that we have a, a positive vision of what we want for the entire year meaning like where we want to go what we want to do what we want to buy what are the things we want to fix on like just have a clear mind because I think that a lot of people um, underestimate of having a vision right of what they want for the entire year because you have to not think about right now you have to think ahead even you can even create something that's for you know five ten years from now what do you want within that time span um i try to always have something at least for my next following um upcoming year so we're super excited that today we're going to be creating our vision boards and get ready for 2022 hey yeah so we are making these boards um last year like she said we did some boards and um let me show you my board last year let's talk about what we actually accomplished okay, about that. let's do that yeah all right all right we're back so you want to go first you go ahead all right so this was my board i might have to scoot on a little bit <laughs> this was my board from last year <clears throat> so let's see man I have some good stuff on here, but some things didn't happen. But I tried for the most part. All right, so reading. All right, I put 30 minutes a day. Did I do 30 minutes a day? No, but I did more reading than I did the previous year, so that was good. Um, I accomplished this goal. No shoes or clothes until May. So I was, I love buying gym shoes. And um, I didn't buy any until May. And then even that, I think I only bought like... She didn't really buy that many. So I think I only really bought good. two pairs of shoes. That's it. She and I good. just bought another pair. So anyway, I did good on that. Um, go out of the country. Couldn't do that one. That one was more because of COVID, not because anything else. Um, my credit score didn't get to where I wanted to be, but it went up. So that's good. Um, way less beer. I did drink way She's less beer. She's done a lot better, yes. Yeah? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's see. I wanted to go back to school. Couldn't do that one. My savings goal. Um, I did pretty good on my savings goal. Not exactly, but I did pretty good. <laughs> 135 pounds by May. Uh, that didn't work out. No, I wasn't by May. I'm not now. But, uh, this, yeah, nah, nah. But it's okay. It'll happen Maybe to we'll get later. married. Maybe she'll propose to me. <laughs> Just kidding. So. I um, for a lot of you guys that know, I'm a business owner, I'm an Herbalife independent distributor. i um, been doing this for about seven years, so a lot of it has to do with that. Um, I'm explaining that so that you guys can kind of understand where I'm going because you're probably looking like, uh, what is all this, right? So all of this technically has to do with business, um, growing in the business physically, mentally, um, and within my organization, right? Getting it bigger and just getting to other places in the marketing plan. Oh. I wanted to go on my Instagram, my social media a lot more. It didn't happen. Um, uh, reading, guys, I probably, um, I didn't get to read all the books that I wanted to read this year. Um, but it's a personal fault, right, for not putting in all the effort that I needed. But honestly, I did read about, I want to say, five or six books in total the whole year. Which I think is good because I also listen to a lot of personal development and more. So not only do I read the books, but I listen to it and listen to audio. So... Um, I think for the reading part, I did really good. Um, saving, um, well, this one was I wanted to earn a check up to twenty thousand, um, and which I didn't get too much. Um, I wanted to save about fifty-five thousand. Unfortunately, we didn't get to save because the savings isn't 
our belly. So technically, I mean, we put it, we had the money, so we did great. I think um, even though we didn't get to save it in the bank, but we have it physically on ourselves. That <laughs> My investment, right? Yes. Yeah, that <laughs> is our investment. So, yeah. Yeah, so, like so. Um, this was one of my big, I, I could have bought myself a purse a long time ago or got in one period, but I just wanted to buy it myself with my own income and which I did for my birthday, gave myself a purse. A lot of things that I wanted to have paid off by the end of this year are pretty much almost all paid, um, almost fully there. So I'm pretty, I wanted to get my credit up. My credit, it's good. It's pretty much been really good. It's just not where I want it to be, but give back. Uh, I've been able to give back, not as much as I usually do, but I would say that um, I give back as much as I can through personal um, development coaching, you know, all these things that kind of fall back into the same thing. Um, I did have abs at some point this summer, but of course, you know, the abs turned into a baby now, so. And then here, um, I always put a quote to myself, you cannot pour it from an empty cup, which meaning like you can't give back um, if you don't have enough in your cup. So you have to be filled all the time in order to be able to give enough. So that was part of what I had here. And that was my vision board for 2021. So let's see what 2022 has to offer. Mm -hmm. All right, so here is my 2022 board. I'm gonna go over a little bit of what I have on here. So first is having a vision success love god always first and i'm turning big 30 2022 okay oh, <laughs> okay so again with um having a vision on the business on growth and these are some of the pins that i have to not only get to myself but also help some of my um people in my organization reach those levels and i'm excited for that i want to have a hundred um First line supervisors that oh, always have a girl gain an empowerment, a group of women and people who are ready to take over, who to build business, to um, have the same mindset as you. So I'm excited to continue the growth of that. I have earned a check of twenty thousand um, dollars in one month. That's my goal. I want to save um, twenty thousand dollars by the end of the year because we have so many goals that we have to accomplish um, this upcoming year. I want to still be able to have at least $20,000 in my savings. Um, this is basically to have, this goes along with most of all this part here is money wise, um, saving, which is still with this, but being able to save, give back, donate, and also, um, build, you know, what things that we want to build with being able to have some type of saving that, um, you have set because there's a lot of times you say, I want to save. But what is it that I'm saving for? What is it that I'm doing? And also implement into putting into my kids' funds, right? Because at the end of the day, somebody has to take care of them and pay for their health, their food, everything. So I want to make sure that they're always set in life. And for our grandchildren and past children, everybody be set. So put in some type of money into some type of funds where we'll be able to grow that through time. Um, I want to also better my credit score because that's something I think that you can always get better at. Donate, guys, this year we have a goal of that part of our donations um, will be for like our birthdays if we have anything. Um, donate things that give people to give us things to be able to donate instead of receiving gifts ourselves. I think it's important for all of us to be able to give back and not always have to receive for us, right? We can always receive for others. So we made a thing that... If we have any type of party or things like that, we're always going to donate some type of fund to be able to give back to a charity or to the community. I want to change my last name because um, I still have my previous last name, so I want to make that a goal to change that into Harvey. Maybe I'll get... <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking my guess. Maybe that'll happen, so I'll be able to change my last name. Hey, go girl. <laughs> so... Um, be selfless right like caring um i think that i have through the years you know i've learned how to not be selfish like because growing up you know we only have a lot of things or this or that so getting giving love and, and being selfless caring for others and giving you know some part of you back to other people um buy a house i am an owner of a house but of course um i i don't live in the house right now i the other houses it's pretty much renting and so i want to be 
a new homeowner again we want to and then some of the quotes like i always write myself some quotes so i wrote myself two quotes if you don't like how things are we'll change it you're not a treat i always thought that that's really important because we can change whatever it is that we decide that we want because we're not trees we're not stuck to the ground we can move and make changes yeah so this is my vision board for 2022 <laughs> thanks for the clap all right, so for my goals for 2022, fitness. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to get to 140 this year. I want to grow our Instagram following and YouTube following. So make sure you share this with all your friends and family here. Um, credit score, you're going to get that up to where I want it to be. I'm going to save 15K. Um, we're going to get a house. I'm going to get a house. And uh, what else we got down here? I put a little... Oh, I'm going to read four books. Four books. What else did I put here? Yeah. So I got on here is my checklist to hold myself accountable. So for the month of March, June, September... I'm going to make sure, check my weight, where I'm at, um, how much I got saved, and then do we have a house yet? This is going to be what happens for Dusty in 2022. Hey, get a girl.